All right, what is going on, guys? My name is Codspots, but you can call me Elias. Um, I'm owner of Unique Codspots, and I'm gonna try to do a capture the flag glitch mode with the bots. Uh, a lot of people ask for it. I learned how to do it pretty recently, and it's actually really cool. So, in order to do this, what you need is the normal glitch CTF mode, which is, can be found either in my um, my player channel or on the COD TV. So I'm just gonna run through the settings. Once you get that. Then uh, save it to your custom games, and then make sure your settings are the same as mine. You're going to have, just pause it if you need to, so you can look at all of them. I'm going to try to go a little slow, but I need to pick it up, you know, go fast enough so this video isn't an hour long. So just make sure you get all these. I would put that on normal 15 seconds. Um, all this. Uh, the health doesn't need to be at 50. I just keep it that way so you don't get hit markers. Uh, friendly Fire. Custom classes. When you do this, I would suggest you know 17 as a loadout, and restrict both primary and secondary. You don't have to do this. You could uh, set up the classes however you want, but I'm gonna go and show you a few ways you can do it. The way I do it is uh, highly specific to a certain group of people. So you restrict both primaries, like every single gun, primary and secondary. Then you go to preset classes. Now there's two ways you can do this. For the preset classes, you can have preset classes per team, or you can have a global which means everyone gets these this means certain teams have certain classes if you do it this way then the bots will have a chance to kill you with uh, any classes you have you know they could snipe you or do something they don't always pick the same class sometimes they pick like this one and they could just like snipe you off your tack possibly um, but this one's a little easier to do if you don't have certain people to do it with exactly so that's that's one way to do it or you can do per team uh, what you're going to do is, for the bots, you go to Sills, make a custom class, something that doesn't really have a gun. You can probably take that off so they have no gun and no way to kill you. Um, that way, you know, they can't shoot you, they can't kill you really, so you're safe. The only thing is, you have to have uh, specific classes for specific teams. So when I do this, I have four good friends I do it with, me and myself included, so it would be me plus three. And uh, let's say I have one friend who wants this team. Then he gives me a class, I make it, and these are, uh, this is his classes he gets to use. Now you can change them up, um, between games, but if you want to keep them that way, you just got to save again, save the game mode, and it'll be another slot in your custom games. So as you can see here, I have custom classes for each team. Um, this is me, I'm usually ISA, and that's how that works. You know, different classes, different teams. And then for the seals, make sure they have like nothing. This is just so I can run to the spot real quick. So that's it for the settings and the classes. Um, then the boss, I just put on eight friendly, no enemy, and recruit. Um, these classes are all blocked. You can't use them. That's why you make uh, custom preset classes. So there's that. And then you're going to be on team seals. And it's going to start it up. Okay, now uh, you're going to spawn in. See how I pick these classes? It doesn't do anything. It just gives me defaults. So if I pick uh, this one, it's a default. You know, it works because it's default. There's nothing else you can do. I meant to take these off, though. So remember to take those off. So I'm going to pick operative. No, I'm not. I need to change teams real quick. So seals, operative. That way I can just run around. So in order to get the flag, you need to do the flag first. Because uh, once you get out of the map, you cannot get back in. So you're going to wait for the boss to you know run away. Make sure this guy doesn't kill me. Then you're going to go on the flag, change teams to mercs, spawn in, pick it up, and just run as fast as you can to wherever you want him. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to have him as here just for distance. Then you're going to go back to seals. That way the flag drops and you still have no deaths. Then you're going to hopefully I don't kill him. Sometimes, if you're on a map with a suicide, be careful where you place the flag because the bots will jump off the map for some reason because they're pretty stupid so then you're gonna go to the spot uh... if you know how to do this one you know just do it then you're up here then i'm gonna go ahead and just keep on going up one two three four oh, five and six i'm up here place attack now whatever team you're on like say for me i'm personally isa team then this is the team i, I go to um, and then if I want to get a friend up, then what he does is he goes to ISA, pick a class, do not spawn in, and then he's going to change teams to whatever team I assign him. So either, let's say if he was FBI, he would go ISA, then FBI, 
or if he was Mercs, you know, ISA, Mercs, so-and-so, and so on. <laughs> uh, the only two teams that do not work on getting up here is SEALs and SDC. Uh, if you want to see that, let me... My attack is down, so I'm going to go SDC. Nothing. So you see what happened there? So, I kind of just wasted time. Let me do this again. I'm going to speed it up. Okay, so now I'm back up here. I'm going to place my attack, so... Now you know how to get your friends up and stuff. Uh, now, since I have default classes for the bots, you see none of them have guns. They're just kind of running around with some knives, and they can't shoot you, they can't kill you. So now, they usually, most of them usually go to the flag where you place it. Sometimes you have people like this where you just one draw. Um, and that's a little unfortunate, but uh, I would just, you could do eight, but not all eight of them go over there. So do like, I would do like five, you know. Because they usually run between both of the flags. This guy's escorting it, so they're going to protect him. The others are going to try to grab this one. So then, uh, this is just a spot you can go to. You can go to any, you know, any spot. You just need to get the flag first. So uh, that's pretty much it for it. I'll throw in uh, two more examples just to show you what it's like. That you can have bots and have them where you want them. And it's pretty cool. And you just go on. Uh, well, look at this guy. One of them just had an XPR. Sometimes they pick up certain classes why well, you need to make sure all classes are the same and that's um, pretty much it for how to have bots with um, with uh, doing spots so I've been caught spots and peace Lang Tack and Sir. Lang Tack and Sir. Waypoint out. Oh, fuck. Gun down. Draw, stand.